Well, good morning. Once again, you find me at Dover. Why? Because I am off to Germany this time. I've got a long, 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 long drive to um, to go to a place near Offenburg, uh, Rheinhausen, which is about 11 hours in total. So I've got about, when I get to France, I've got another six, six and a half hours drive. So some serious driving. But if you've ever seen German car, some of them are absolutely mind-blowing. Big, black, dark, leathery mirrors. Some of the best carp, probably in the world. So yeah, I'm gonna be hopping onto the ferry in a moment and making my way to Germany. I'm not gonna do loads of traveling footage because quite frankly, it's a bit boring, isn't it? You wanna get into the fishing, so um, yeah. I shall be getting myself over to Germany ASAP. I got to um, I got to the ferry terminal nice and early this morning thinking there's going to be big queues and there was absolutely nothing. So I'm here really early, it gives me a chance to do a little bit of work while I'm in the van. But yeah, I'm going to be on my route, or en route, shortly. So um, see you in a bit. Whenever I go to France, and I pass through France, or I'm in France, I've got to have a jambon sandwich. These bad boys are in like a brioche bun. Don't know what it is about them, but they are so tasty. Probably very unhealthy, but they taste so nice. Jambon sandwich, got in my mouth. Guten Morgen from Germany. It is my first morning at the lake. I got here late last night. I did manage to get the rods out, obviously in the dark, barely see the lake at all, but I did get some rods out. Nothing happened, obviously. It was boiling hot last night, really, really sticky, really, really hot. And then at about 4 a.m., there was just this massive storm. Loads of wind, loads of rain, and uh, it's now gone pretty calm again. So this is the lake. I'm literally tucked away in this little swim here. And this is the lake, it's a big old water, big old sheet of water. It is literally first light now. So I'm up looking at the water. It looks like there's a couple of, what looks like big old flat spots over the back there. Keep an eye on them today. But yeah, first port of call. Let's find a few carp. weather rolling in now folks nice warm wind really warm wind actually haven't seen loads this side as yet seen a few I've seen a couple in close but I've also seen two very big fish show on that far bank so I'm keeping my eyes peeled on that so if, if I keep seeing them there I'll move um, but it's only the first morning the weather looks absolutely epic with the wind hacking in here so I'm hopeful boat there look ready to go epic epic lake I've seen some really really big shows so yeah just got the old bacon sandwich on oh let's zoom out just gonna have a nice bacon sandwich and uh, we'll see what the morning brings well, I'm spending quite a lot of time sat in this boat at the moment um, just to the left of the swim there's a, a reed line that kind of cuts off my view so I'm sitting in the boat just to give me a big view of the lake just to see if I can see anything I'll put a big hit of bait on one rod just as a real sort of shit or bust sort of approach um, and the other rods over a little scatter and a bait and I'm just keeping my eyes peeled really there's nothing to go on really at the moment other than a few features that I found on the bottom so really need to find some fish that is going to be key on this session so I'm very surprised I'm not seeing them on the end of this wind but carp haven't read the rule book have they um, 
I've got to keep my eyes peeled and see what happens. By this sort of reed bed here, it's kind of when I'm sitting in the swim, I can't sort of see past that left edge. So um, yeah, I'm having to sit in the boat, which gives me a big view of the lake. You'll notice I'm only using two rods. It's a two rod only rule here, which is kind of annoying for such a monstrous lake, isn't it? But you know, you've got to abide by the rules. So yeah, two rods only. Come on, fish. Show me where you are. All right, guys, I've had a little scoot round um, a real marginal area. Um, so it's a long way, sort of 200 meters or so, I reckon, maybe more. So you'll see it in a minute. I'm just taking the rod out just to, well, see if I've got enough line on. I've got some apex braid on, which is quite sort of um, quite a thick diameter. So you obviously don't get as much on a spool as, uh, as normal. So I'm kind of hoping that I've got enough line on there. So I've just taken the rod out now just for a bit of a test to see. So um, I'll show you the marker in a minute when I get there. The marker now. And uh, you'll see it in a minute. There it is. So I've seen a few fish show about 40 yards away, um, just up there. So I've come to find this spot. It's in relatively shallow water. Um, it's going to be a nightmare to, uh, to drop the bait in this wind when I'm rowing, because I'm not used to this, I can assure you. not used to this at all. Much prefer electric outboards. <laughs> like most I would have said. Okay. Right, we're pretty much over the marker now. I'm gonna drop that out. Lovely thud and then pretty much sit on that. And now, I'm gonna go back and see if we've got enough line. <laughs> so, so, there weren't enough line on the spool by about 20 yards. So, I'm gonna to have to get some uh, more braid, overfill it a bit, and now that it beds in, should be fine. So um, yeah, a bit more line and away we go. I'll tell you what, <sighs> chore isn't the word. <sighs> Absolute graft in this wind. So yeah, I've actually resorted to going forwards rather than backwards because I'm shattered. And I've only just got to the marker it's a long way, it's like 250 metres, maybe more, which is hard work rowing that, I tell you. And now I've got the palaver of getting the rod out. It's going to be fun. In this wind, fuck's sake, graft man. But hopefully it's going to be worth it. Wind a bit. Hopefully, not get too blown off course. Right, come on, James, you get this right.
graft. But we're in. We're into it. We're into it now. Absolute graft that was. Right, let's get back to the shore. Good afternoon, it's got dark very, very quickly. It looks like there's a storm brewing up behind me. Um, got wiped out by a boat earlier on, which is well annoying. Some park, pike anglers just casting spinners about, did my uh, 200 meter rod, which is absolute pain in the backside. Um, they had the whole lake to go out and uh, they decided to come over my line, which is typical. So yeah, I was pretty furious with that, but I've got all lightning in the background there. Managed to get the rod back out. Um, yeah, Rod's back in the zone. It's getting dark now. Getting really, really dark. Look at that in the background. Moody as. Just see some lightning strike. Proper, proper moody, carpy weather. Just need them to play ball now. I've got a rod down there and a rod up that way. And I've baited a big sort of area in the middle there, hoping that they might get all oh, flash. Flash of lightning. Um, yeah, I've baited in the middle of the lake as well. In fact, I baited several areas to go and check tomorrow, um, see if the bait's gone or not. But uh, so far, the carp are being pretty elusive. Hopefully this storm might stir them up a little bit. see it on this but it's almost like gold looks a bit blue on here but yeah there's a storm brewing thunder in the background you can hear rain's just starting to pitter patter on the bivy rods are out come on the big German carp wow 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 that is what you call a storm <laughs> Look at the colour of it. Honestly, it's like yellowy out there. I know it looks a bit pink on here, but that is one serious storm coming in. Good morning from Deutschland. A happier Jimmy this morning. I had two bites. Two bites this morning, one on the left hand rod, that long rod, and one on the middle rod, so two different spots. So I've got two spots now that have done bites. And I've got two glorious carp to show you. One is an upper 30, 39 pounds, and the other one is over 32. And uh, yeah, one of them's a real cracker. The other one's a real fat thing, like a German Simo, almost. So yeah, very, very happy chappy. Coffee's on. Next stop, to show you these fish. Got to have coffee first. Milk in the coffee. Then the water. It's only instant coffee, but apparently, if you put the water in first, it burns the coffee. Not sure how true that is, but that's the way I do it now anyway. Nice coffee to charge the day, charge me up for the day. Let me have a look at these carp. Well, I've only gone and caught a German carp, haven't I? This one, over 30 pounds. Oh, check him out. How about that one, hey? <laughs> He's cool, isn't he? Proper, proper German character. Look at that. <laughs> Actually looks a bit like um, 
bit like a cyber, didn't it? But in Germany. Not sure they have them in Germany. But yeah, mega, mega looking creature. And I have got an even better one in the sling waiting to show you. So, right, let's get this one back and uh, show you the bigger one. I've got an upper 30 waiting. So uh, let's go and have a look at that one now. <laughs> Well, the most ridiculous, awesome looking German carp, just a shade under 40 pounds. <laughs> Look at that! How about that for a carp? <sighs> yeah, just under 40 pounds of colossal German mirror carp. Absolutely <laughs> blooming ridiculous. This is what I came out here for mirrors like this and it was only my second night i feel like i'm into a little bit of a routine two spots have produced fish now so yeah i'm very 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 happy with that an absolute brute of a carp <laughs> awesome isn't it absolutely awesome <clears throat> it's heavy oh, doing my back in because i've been doing so much rowing work just get the focus. This side is arguably better than the other. Check this side, look. Look at that. Proper carp, eh? Very, very, very happy Jimmy boy. And I am loving the fishing over here at the moment. Conditions couldn't be any better. They really couldn't. And the fish are passing bait, so they're eating. They are eating. Proper German carp. <laughs> right, mate. Let's get you back. <laughs> right, guys. I'm going to move. I've had two bites, I know. But I've just been out in the boat. Had a look at some spots that I primed yesterday and all the bait has gone. And I haven't fished those spots yet. I can still fish my long rod from over on that other swim, but it means it gives me access to a couple of other spots where the bait has all gone. Um, so yeah, so I can still fish the same spots, but from a different angle, from a different side, and it also gives me access to leapfrog them and, and fish other spots as well, where I feel I'm a little bit limited in this swim. I can't see much of the water, which I don't really like. I like to be able to watch the water. So I think I'm gonna move opposite. It's off the back of the wind, but I'll still be able to fish some of the same spots just gives me a lot more options to be honest so I'm going to pack up uh, in a few hours time I'm going to give it a couple more hours here but I'm going to pack up a few hours time go to the supermarket get some more supplies and uh, make my way round to the new swim Bags packed. Sorry, the van's packed. I need to um, nip out to the shops, get a few, uh, get a few refreshments, a bit of steak, maybe a couple of beers as well, and uh, then I'll be making my way to the new swim. So uh, yeah, over to the shop and back to the new swim. Right, guys, it's competition time. Who fancies a surface fishing tutorial with myself 
and starring in Jimmy's Gone Fishing. There will be an episode dedicated to the tutorial for one of my lucky subscribers. All you have to do to enter is hit the subscriber button on my YouTube channel, Jimmy's Gone Fishing, and comment in the comments of my latest YouTube Germany film as to what you think my surface fishing personal best is. The one that gets it right or is closest will come for that day. And not only that, I'll be giving away a surface fishing setup on the day that you can use, plus the tackle to catch fish off the top. So best of luck, hit the subscriber button and hope you get my PB right. Back to the film. Right, been to the shop, got loads of food. And now, I've just got to the new spot. This is the plan, is to fish in here now for a night at least. God, it looks different from here. <laughs> yeah, cool. I've got marker sort of out that way, one out that way, and uh, one sort of long going into that corner as well. So, um, yeah, plenty of options in here, and the bait was gone off the spots. So, yeah, let's do a night in here, see how we get on. Right, back into the boat we go. It's all rowing boats here as I mentioned. So basically my plan right now is to zip out to the spot and um, yeah, to get myself out to the spots and basically put my orange markers in there. put my uh, orange markers in there. I've got little canes out there at the moment, but they're really hard to see. So um, I'm going to go and put my uh, orange markers out there because that way I will be able to see things a lot, lot easier at night time. So let's go. Quite enjoying this rowing lark now. Got the hang of it. <laughs> Took some getting hang off, tell ya. Because uh never really done it before. Well not not fishing anyway in a fishing circumstance. You'll just see in a minute, I'll just spin myself around. You see me cane in the lake there with the orange mark around it now. That's just so I can see it should I need to should I need to redrop at night time, so yeah, there's one in, which was a little bit of a palaver in the wind, but we're in. So Pacific tuna and triple X boilies were soon covered over the spot. This is something I like to do before dropping the rig. wind and then I'll let the boat drift over the spot and I'll get it in position. Just gonna clip the rig on. Rig's clipped on. Just need to get the boat a bit more over the spot. <laughs> mm. 
Right, that's decent. Okay, cool. In that, get that in too bad in the end. Right, I'm going to time to go back. So, I'm in the new swim, and it looks beautiful. Just had a tench after 20 minutes of putting the rod in, so fish are visiting the area. I'm going to go black in a moment, silhouette -y, so I can just show you my peg. Look at that. Stunning, isn't it? Really, really nice peg. So yeah, two rods are out on the spots. Here's a little look at what it looks like. Proper carpy little swim. Can see a lot more of the lake, which is what I like. I can literally sit on my bed chair and see a good chunk of water. I'm right out in the sticks, as you can see. Yeah, feeling good for tonight. I'm gonna have a barbecue. I've bought some beautiful steak from the supermarket, so I'm gonna get that on now. Good morning. Another fucking predator anglers just, just tweaked the line. Just don't use their brains, unfortunately. Well annoying, but uh, no, they didn't take it out. It just pinged. Um, but yeah, we're on the on the first morning in the new peg. Nothing happened last night. Bit gutted, really. Thought it would have done. Whether I made the right move or not, I don't know. Whether I'd have caught in the other swim again, I don't know. Um, but. Yeah, so far it wasn't the right move. I mean, nothing showed over the other spots or anything. Um, and I can fish one of those spots from here still, so I might do that tonight. But let's see what today brings. I haven't even done 24 hours in here yet, so I don't know whether it's the right move or not. But apparently one of these spots is known for big ones, so that's what I'm here for. I'm here for a German giant, so um, yeah. See what today brings. There we go, nice little bit of toast on the barbecue this morning. <laughs> bit of peanut butter on toast. Nice way to start the day. Although an even nicer way to start the day would be one of them rods ramping off. Hasn't happened so far in this swim. Hopefully it will today. So a few key points about my rig that I've learnt very, very quickly. I'm fishing in silt relatively deep silt so the leads are really plugging into the bottom sort of taking a lot of the hook length with it and a normal nugget just squeezed onto the hook was popping off too quickly because I'm fishing in quite deep water so I'm adding a, a nugget there which is in some funnel web PVA and that is just prolonging the time that it stays on the hook it stays on there for about a minute you notice I've trapped the hair as well with some PVA tape and that will hold the hook length up nice and high for around a minute allowing the leg the lead to plug into the silt, leaving the hook link proud and when that dissolves the hook link just flutters down nicely on top of the silt. I feel like maybe the last night loads of my hook link was being pulled into the silt and the hook bait was probably sitting on top of the lead or worse still even the lead core which I'm sure I may well have got a pick up still but it's not exactly how I wanted it so um, yeah that is the rig. Uh, a couple of uh, key points on it now. Uh, uh, the gripper as well, 10 ounce gripper. I'm using the gripper because it flutters down better into the silt. Um, although it does still plug because uh, I'm fishing in, in silt. It's a big lead and uh, there's a bit of depth there. But um, yeah, that's just going to hold everything proud, flutter down nicely and I'll have perfect presentation. Good evening. Not much to report other than most of the bait had gone on one of the spots and it didn't result in a pickup, so I'd been royally done. Um, it's been a bit hot today, it's been like mid-twenties, which... It's not ideal, is it, really? Flat, calm, mid-twenties, not the greatest conditions. The, 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 bites, the two bites that I have had 
came in very stormy weather. So yeah, it's it's quiet. It's a, it's a mill pond out there at the minute. Um, I made a couple of changes. Let's see what the night brings. Got Mexican for dinner. Look at that little rodent. Cool, isn't he? Hmm. Awesome. Guten Morgen. Very guten Morgen. Big carp in the sling, over 42 pounds. Big, fat, chunky German carp. Second night has come good. Why? Dunno. I think I got done that first night. A couple of tweaks yesterday. Biggest one being making sure that hook link was sitting sitting proud for longer. I was putting on a nugget before, just squeezing it on. It was just popping off uh, as I was lowering it down. But after testing it in the margins on the silt spot, those big leads, I knew they plugged, but they were pulling in six inches of the hook link and I just don't think it was very well presented so by putting on those little nuggets inside a funnel web bag and nicking it on it meant that when the lead touched down the hook link was still sitting proud for about a minute and it was just keeping all that hook link above the silt and then when it melted I was watching it in the edge it just sort of fluttered down lovely just like it would out there so that's the tactical change I made. The other big tactical change actually on that rod that went was a tiger nut. I lowered the GoPro in yesterday and pretty much all the bait had gone. There were a few boilies left on the spot, not loads, but little clusters of boilies, but all the tiger nuts had gone and all the particles, so switched over to a tiger nut hook bait and off it rattled, so I'm glad I did. It's a much, much carpier day today, it's drizzly, it's cloudy, pretty calm, but it's it's much carpier. Look at it out there today. Oh, there we go. Looks so much nicer, doesn't it, today than it did yesterday in that roasting sunshine. So, hopefully we'll have chances today. But yeah, I'm pretty satisfied this morning. Well, very. Right. Hello, hello, hello. Right guys, I finally had a German 40, 42 pounds of absolute German machine. <laughs> How about that? Colossal, absolutely colossal. Magnificent fish, isn't it? Very heavy, very mad, mad old shapes, difficult to hold. But yeah, 42 pounds of German mirror carp, what a tank. Right, let's have a look at the other side because that is one awesome, awesome carp. But yeah, real difficult one to hold that. Feels ultra heavy. <laughs> Even though I've caught carp bigger, it feels so heavy. Here we go, have a look. How about that, hey? What a fish, what a trip. I've got one night to go, the rods are out, conditions are better, so let's see what the next 24 hours bring, and then I'm back to Blighty. Thank you, German carp. Let's go home. This f has just wiped me rod out, fuck's sake. 200 meters, and he's wiped it out. Why? Why do they have to come and fish like within 50 yards of me, the whole lake? He's wiped me out. He's poxy spinner. So I'm going to have to redo that rod now, um, but it gives me the opportunity to put a tiger on that rod, which is what I caught on last night. So I've got a tiger nut now on the rod. Um, 
I'm just going to take it back out there. I'm going to, I'm going to take my GoPro out there as well because I'm intrigued to see if there's any bait left on the spot. If there isn't, we obviously want the Tigers. If there is bait there, then obviously that's why I haven't had a bite, but I'm intrigued. So I'm going to lower the GoPro down and have a look. of my trip to keep things cool, to keep my drinks cool, to keep my food fresh. I've been using a Total Freeze 45, I've been using a, a Carp Lounge battery and one I bought from Browns. Um, yeah, it's lasted me the whole session so far. I'm plugging that into a little inverter that I bought from Halford, as you can see there. And yeah, it has lasted wonderfully well. That's it. I have got more spare batteries, but that is all I've needed, which is fantastic. So um, yeah, nice fresh food. Quiet afternoon as usual guys. It's been really quiet in the days. Not much showing, not much happening. And uh, yeah, today has been the same. Not a lot to say really. I'm hoping something's gonna happen in the evening, or tonight. Good evening. Final night on the pond. The very big pond. I do want to go home to see the family, but I don't want to go home because I absolutely love it here. I've just put on a couple of burgers and a nice wrap. Rods are out for the last night, hoping for a last gasp big one. If I don't, I've had a lovely time. and caught that awesome 42 pounder this morning. Stefan's just waved me goodbye, so It'll be until next time for him. I will be coming back. I'm planning my return trip already. I've loved every single minute of it. So, yeah, my final evening. Let's see what tonight brings. Good evening. Bit of a storm going on right now. It's mad over here. Literally storms happen within minutes. You get a little bit of drizzle and then <clears throat> all of a sudden it's an absolute downpour. Winds like a hurricane from flat calm, it's just mad. Um, yeah, carpy as. So, let's see what tonight brings. Hopefully, a real big one before I go home. Hello. I've just landed an absolute giant of a carp. <laughs> I've got to do pictures in a moment of a new personal best. 64 pounds of absolute tank. Honestly, it's massive. Long, broad, it ain't even that fat. It's just massive, an absolute German Terminator. And the exact reason why I came to Germany. I had some friends pop down last night to see me I think they brought a little bit of magic. I call them the Bream Kings. <laughs> but they certainly brought the luck of the carp because I have got a 64 new PB by four pounds waiting for its picture to be taken. And it is unbelievable. My previous PB was over at Abbey Lakes, which was 60 pounds on the nose. This one is 64 and it's from Germany, from a big quiet lake where they don't get fished for very often. I'm absolutely elated. I'm leaving here at 10 a.m. today, so I'm gonna do everything with the fish. And then I'm gonna jump in the lake and give myself my own soaking, because I'm here on my own. It won't be easy doing photographs and stuff, but yeah, I'm here on my own, so uh, I need to give myself a good soaking for that, don't I? Anyway, I'm gonna have my morning's coffee, and then I'm gonna look at this absolute bruiser. <laughs> yes. This is my new personal best mirror cup. 64 pounds of massive, massive German carp. <sighs> Look at the size of that thing. Is that the most ridiculous carp I've ever seen? Absolutely massive. So, so, so heavy. Yeah, I'm struggling. <laughs> Look at that. Massive carp. Yes. 
<laughs> right, let's just have a quick look at the other side. She's a big old carp, and I don't want to leave her out of the water too long, so come here, girl. <laughs> look at that, hey? <sighs> big, massive, massive German carp. That's what we came for. We've come to Germany, caught massive carp, and I can go home to England very, very pleased. Yes! Oh. Right, I'm just rowing to get the final markers out before I make my way home. And I thought I would sort of reflect on the session a little bit. What have I learned on this trip? A lot. I've learned quite a lot about presenting rigs in deep water in the silt. I've learned that the silt, a lot of the time, can be more effective than the gravel. I wasn't getting takes on the gravel. The moment I moved it into the silt, where I saw these little um, like crevices in the silt where the fish had clearly been feeding, I got bites. So, yeah, lesson big leads in the silt the little pva trick to keep the rig nice and proud because i still wanted to fish bottom baits balanced baits in the silt i didn't want to fish pop-ups um so yeah that was a big lesson learned um not really a lesson learned but one thing that i can't reiterate enough is when fishing these big lakes do not take them for granted fish strong tackle reliable tackle that you know works well i've been fishing very big gauge wide gape x's quarter wide gape x's still very sharp but incredibly strong four takes four landed on a very very snaggy demanding lake strong lines i was using apex braid so i had no issues with with strength or it rubbing against any underwater snags or anything um, I've learned how to use a rowing boat. Feel like it's uh, pretty second nature now. I probably haven't got the best technique in the world, but it's uh, it works. So yeah, lots of lessons learned, and uh, I can't wait to return. Honestly, I have fallen in love with Germany, and I will be back.